What is up everybody, it is MRBHD and in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to install HIN on your PS3 4.87. So you want to go to this website and you want to download the hybrid firmware update and I will leave a link to it in the description of this video. And um, I just want to go ahead and say that I'm going to try to keep this video around 15 minutes or so. The other tutorials on YouTube, they're like 30 freaking minutes long. And man, I just don't really feel like wasting anybody's time. So I just kind of want to get to the point. So that way y'all ain't sitting here just watching a video forever. You know, let's just get to the point and get it over with. So you just want to click download and download this update. And basically a lot of this is just copying and pasting and dragging and dropping. You know what I'm saying? Um, I recommend before, I mean after you download the update to go ahead and get some homebrew apps um me personally i use multi-man a lot i use multi-man to install mods i use multi-man to install games that i downloaded for free i use multi-man a lot for a lot of different reasons for modded comments modded avatars modded trophies multi-man is the shit so download the latest version of that and download Webman, I, I suggest Webman if you plan on you if you plan on installing games and you want to load the games faster, Webman will load the games within a matter of seconds, and I will show you later in this video. So, Webman is something that I use quite often. So, after you download that stuff, you want to go and you want to find your HFW that you downloaded. It'll be a zip file. So you just want to right click it and click extract files. If it doesn't say extract files, then that means you need WinRAR on your computer. Which I'm sure the majority of people have it. But if you don't, simple Google search of WinRAR and then click download. And there you go. So there's another tutorial on how to get WinRAR. <laughs> but um, yeah. So you just want to right click it and click extract files and what it'll do is it'll, it'll oh, fuck I can't even talk. It'll extract this zip file slash rar file into a folder. So once you find that folder, inside of that folder is where your HFW, HFW modded update will be. So once you get that, now you're ready to go. So plug in your removable disk, aka your USB flash drive. Right click it, click properties and make sure that it's formatted to FAT32. If it already is, you don't have to worry about this step. But if it doesn't say FAT32, you need to format it. So just go ahead and format that. It'll erase everything on it. But inside the root directory of your USB you should have a folder that says PS3. I'm going to go ahead and delete this. Let's Let's just pretend like... You don't have it. I'm going to show you what to do in case you don't have a PS3 folder. So you're going to click new folder. And you're just going to type in PS3. Just like I have it right here. And inside of that folder, you're going to make a new folder that says update. In all capital letters. And inside of that is where you're going to paste your hybrid firmware update. And once you copy it over to your usb drive you're gonna have to rename it and erase a lot of that stuff in the beginning so just simply erase before the p and it should say ps3 updat.pup and once once you have that you're good to go if it looks like that just make sure but um I, also go ahead and if you follow this tutorial and you downloaded the homebrew apps just go ahead and just wherever they are just find them and then just drag them and drop them in the root directory of your usb drive you don't have to do this part this is optional but i do suggest multi-man and t t for all your stuff that you want to mod and stuff and i do suggest webman if you want to load games and stuff like that it loads games 
thousand times faster. I can't stress it enough. It's a pain in the ass loading multi man and then loading the game and then getting back off of it and all this stuff. Whenever Webman does it in a matter of three seconds. So um once you got these two homebrew apps and you got your HFW update file, you're good to go. You can exit off all this stupid ass shit and eject safely so that way you don't get no corrupted files and go back to your ps3 so once you're on your ps3 basically you want to go over to uh internet browser the first thing you want to do before you do anything you want to load it up and you want to delete a lot of shit so go press triangle go to tools and go down to Confirm browser close, turn that off so that way you don't have to confirm it every fucking time. It's fucking annoying. Go to tools and then delete a lot of shit. Like delete this. And then delete the rest of the shit. Just follow the video. I mean, I, it, it's self-explanatory pretty much. But once you deleted this shit right here. Then you're good to go. And the reason you do delete this stuff is so that way you have a clean browser to use. You have a clean slate. Because HEN requires that. So once you do that, you want to scroll over to System Update. And you want to update via Storage Media. Now if it says this right here, that is because you are probably on a PS3 Slim. So you have to update it through the recovery mode slash safe mode so just turn it off and go ahead and do the recovery mode if you don't know how to do that all you do is just i'll tell you in a second but you just want to go to system update once you're in recovery mode and update it that way but to get into recovery mode or safe mode whatever you want to call it all you have to do is like turn your PS3 off and then you want to turn it on and then you want to hold it, the power button down the whole time and then it'll turn off and then you want to let go of the power button. Then you want to hold the power button again and it'll turn on and then it'll, it'll beep, it'll go beep and then like a second later or two it'll say beep beep and then once it says beep beep that's when you let go of it. So... If you're on a PS3 Super Slim, you will probably, most likely, have to do this update through safe mode slash recovery mode. But if you're on a PS3 Slim, you can do it via media storage device just from the system update on the X and B menu. I noticed that because I have every single version of the PS3 ever made. I have all of them. So, yeah. And all you do is just install the update. And also, you have to install this update twice. I'm not really exactly sure why. I guess it's just part of the process. But you want to install this update twice. So if you're on... PS3 Slim, you'll install it twice from the X and B menu. But if you're on PS3 Super Slim, you'll install it twice from the recovery mode. So, just go ahead. If, you, if you're if using HDMI like me, just go ahead and just set all your settings and shit up. But once you get through updating it twice, now what you're going to do is you're going to go over to your internet browser. And you're going to go to ps3exploit.com and there is no e in it just type in exactly like I'm typing in right here on the screen I honestly didn't think this tutorial would take this long but fuck it is but um click ok if something like this pops up just click ok and this is where you should be at um, you want to go up up at the top where it says PS3 HEN and you want to 
click on hen installer all alternate alternate or alternative whatever the hell that says so just click that and then it'll open a new window and then it'll start initializing and this might take a minute and it might even fail so it, it's cool if it fails don't worry so just let it let it do it do its thing you know don't touch nothing don't worry about it just let it initialize and once it does that it should give you a list of instructions so tick tock tick tock tick tock you know like i said this is a tedious process it kind of takes a little bit of time but see this one failed exploit and initialization failed so all you don't worry if it says this is a very easy fix all you got to do is just close out of this browser right here and then just do the exact same thing again try again go to the hen installer alt alternate and then let it let it do its thing do its thing again some of these will fail and some of them you get them the first time like i've had other ps3s i got them the first time so once you do it right it'll it'll say this right here it'll say how to install hen number one close your browser number two open remote play and quit immediately number three use a new icon to download and install hen number four reboot after installation so yeah that's basically a very self-explanatory instructions but before i go any further this is your fair warning do not enable factory service mode with PS3 HIN and do not install CC API with PS3 HIN. CC API is console control manager, which is for jailbroke custom firmware, which I do have that, but I do not ever do not ever use it on PS3 HIN because it'll break your system. But like it said, go to remote play and then press circle and then you should have a new icon right here that says install HIN. So all you want to do is you just want to click on that and then click on install and then click yes and then download the stupid thing. God, this tutorial's long. Fuck. Longer than my car. So yeah, let it install. It should take, I don't know, a few couple minutes maybe at the most. Shouldn't take long at all, but once that gets done... Now you just want to turn off your system and you want to restart it. So once you restart it, you should see that fancy new HEN logo at the startup. Yeah, that means you successfully installed HEN on your PS3 system. Now you can do all kinds of stuff. It's basically just like jailbreak. And also a quick note to use the Humber apps and everything related to HEN, you have to enable HEN every time you turn on your ps3 to use it so just click on enable hen and that will allow you to use all your your stuff you know your homebrew apps and stuff like that and if you don't know how to install homebrew apps all you do is you go to packet package manager and then go to install package files go to standard and then there on your usb drive should be your homebrew apps that i i downloaded earlier i'm going to go ahead and install multi-man and i'm going to install webman so that way i have these on this ps3 i have them on my other ps3 and i'll show you in a minute but um yeah this is multi-man right here so and i'm going to go ahead and install webman so that way i have both of them so It shouldn't take long for them to install. Sometimes they kind of freeze and then wait like a few seconds. And then it'll just start jumping back up going real fast. So don't stress over it. Um, this is it. Now you got homebrew reps. Like multi-man. You know, multi-man is the fucking shit. Once you start up Multiman though, one thing I do suggest, and I know other people have said it in their tutorials as well, 
is turn off that fucking song. Oh my god, bro. That song is annoying. So just go over to settings and wherever it says theme, theme audio or whatever, just let. Because that crap is really annoying, man. And yeah, that's Multiman. Now you can go to the root of your PS3. You can install games for free. You can do all kinds of freaking crazy ass shit. Um, this is my other PS3 right here. I've already installed several games. I got every single one of these games for absolutely free. Um, if you need a tutorial for that, I have one on my channel, but... This is what I was talking about, Webman. Webman can load these games, like say I wanted to play Skate, or just say I clicked on the wrong game, or something, you know. I go back to Webman, and I can pick a different game within a matter of seconds. So, say I wanted to play Skate 2, so I just click on it, it loads up Skate 2 instantly. Or say I wanted to play Skate 3. Well, click on Skate 3, it loads up Skate 3 instantly. That's how fast Webman is. It's a lot, a lot better than loading games through Multiman. So, yeah. Definitely recommend Webman and Multiman. Both of them are really, really good. But that's how you install HEN on your PS3. Also, again, guys, if you haven't seen my video about how to get games for absolutely free, no jailbreak, it is 100% correct because this isn't jailbreak hen isn't jailbreak so if you haven't seen that go check it out if you want to get all a bunch of games for free any game ever made on ps3 for absolutely free and i uh, hope this video helped y'all this is a long ass video about to hit 17 minutes so thank you for watching i hope this helped i hope you learned something you know it's it's easy stuff it just takes a little bit of time so yeah, I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.